Hey guys, John here from the Reaper blog. In this video, I want to show you what's new in Reaper 5.16. On the Reaper website download page, you can read the change log. Uh, you can see all the little bug fixes. I'm going to highlight just a few things that I think are the most interesting uh, and worth showing. Starting off with the JSFX or the effects category, include selected JSFX in the browser Kako's view. So that's right here. And the new ones are these ones right here. There are two new plugins, General Dynamics and Spectral Hold. And uh, then the Frequency Spectrum Analyzer, the Oscilloscope, and Spectrograph are some that have been recently improved and possibly things that you haven't seen yet. So I'm going to show you what those do. I've got Resynth uh, connected here, kind of a mix of square wave and Sawtooth and sine wave. And I'm going to float these plugins on the master track. We've got frequency spectrum analyzer at the top. We've got the spectrograph meter. And on the bottom, we have the oscilloscope meter. So I'm just going to play some stuff, and you can see what each meter is actually doing. The top one shows the frequency spectrum instantaneously. The spectrograph meter shows the frequency um, from top to bottom and over time. And you can choose to have the scroll or not. And also, the oscilloscope shows the actual shape of the waveform. So if I set this to a purely sine wave signal, You can see a nice smooth curve there. Square wave. Sorry, this might be loud. You see square wave. If I change the pulse width, you'll see that changing here. And on each of these, you can hold. And the only other thing to mention about these is that you can uh, resize them to any shape and size you want. You can have them fill the screen if you want. There you go. Just wanted to uh, point those things out. There's a new compressor called General Dynamics. It's a very interesting plugin. It is a little confusing to get your head around because it's kind of so different from everything else. Let me get some samples or something to show you how this works. All right, so I've got this drum loop here. And um, as it's playing, you can see on the meter uh, the input value. And we can use the mouse wheel to zoom in. We can right click and drag to pan this graph. Then we can actually draw in it. So just dragging will create a straight line. Holding down command will draw a curve. And hold option if you want to reset it. So basically, if we draw a line on this side of the graph, it's going to turn down the signal. And if we draw a line on this side of the graph, it's going to turn up the signal. So it's going to do upward expansion and downward compression over here. Uh, let's see what we can do with this.
So it's interesting. It's um, it's not your typical compressor or gate or expander. Or, it's a very interesting plugin, and it's certainly worth checking out. And remember, with JS effects plugins, you can resize them to however big or small as you want. I think some really cool things can be done with this, but it may not be your go-to for every single track. Anyways, check that one out. All right, the next plugin to show you is Spectral Hold. The buttons here that you need to pay attention to are 0, 1, 2, 3. 4 to 9 do nothing at this time. And what this does is uh, kind of sample a small section of the sound that's coming into it. Um, this many samples in the FFT size. Then you have a hold volume, so the volume of the sound that's been uh, sampled. The dry mix during hold, uh, usually you want that all the way down, unless you're blending it. This is a sound design tool, so you know it's, it's kind of a weird thing. What I recommend doing is running some sounds through it and recording its output, either to a new track as it's looping, or go up to file and go to the save live output to disk option, and just you know mess around and then chop up your samples later. Let's play it on this drum loop. I hit zero. I'll hit two to update. So I'm going to decrease the FFT size to 1024 and update again. So that's how I use it. Um, click on the edit button and you'll see all the code for the plugin. But there is some uh, information here explaining the triggers. Zero is update and hold. One is toggle hold with no update. Two is update and three is stop hold. All right, uh, that's it for the plugin section. And next on the list is render. Always skip processing of muted tracks when rendering and using full speed render. Recently, I put out a video on muting your unused tracks to save CPU. So if you didn't have this option active in your project, then you wouldn't get the performance boost when you're rendering out your project. So as far as rendering goes, this option is always on, which uh, means that if you had this off in your project, you're going to have a higher CPU, but it's going to be lower load when it's actually rendering. So if you already have this on all the time, you're not going to see any change in the render speed. But if you did have it off, then you might see a big uh, change in your render speed. I'm sure that was a little confusing, but it's better. Looking at the render window, there is a new option in the MP3 encoding. Maximum, better, normal, fast encode, and fastest encode. And these are just little quality tweaks that you can do I'm probably going to keep it on normal. That's what's recommended. Um, I've always been pretty much happy with the sound of the MP3s coming out of Reaper. So um, I'm not too worried about that. But uh, if you want it to render faster, try the other option. If you want to squeeze every last bit of sound quality out of it, try this maximum option. OK, one other thing that's changed is, um, so in the mixer, when you drag a plugin over, you see this icon. It's a copy symbol. But now if you hold Alt or Option, you see this symbol for Move. So what's new is the symbol. It better communicates that you're moving the plugin, not copying. 
So those are the highlights of Reaper 5.16. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please like it if you did, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.